Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while. Um, I want to say I'm really sorry for not posting videos super often. I've kind of just fallen out of inspiration, I suppose. But I was tagged to do this My Nail Polish Obsession tag quite some time ago by a love tart, Mary. So let's get started. There's only 10 questions, so this should hopefully go pretty quickly. Okay, number one, what is your favorite nail polish company? I haven't tried a huge variety of nail polish companies, um, but of the ones that I have tried, I would probably have to say that OPI is my favorite. I really like their wide professional brushes. So like OPI brushes have a nice wide brush like that, so it's skinnier on one side and wide on the other. So that's why I really like OPI. Plus I find that their polish formulations are a little more flexible than China Glaze, which is kind of a competitor for my top polish. Um, they have a really great uh, variety of colors like OPI, but I find that China Glaze, their polishes aren't as flexible, so when my nails get longer, and my nails themselves are naturally very soft and they bend a lot, uh, when they do bend, I find that the China Glaze polishes tend to crack a little, whereas the OPI ones don't. So that's why I really like OPI, even, they are, even though they are more pricier than China Glaze. <laughs> Number two, uh, glitter or no glitter. I love the idea of glitter, and I love how eye-catching it can be, but generally, like if I could only ever buy glitter or non-glitter nail polishes ever again, I would buy non-glitter nail polishes. So, Number three, OPI, China Glaze, or Essie. Okay, so OPI is already my favorite from question one. Um, I think number two would actually have to be Essie, which I used to really dislike Essie polishes. Um, basically, when I saw Essie polishes previously before they went retail, I think last year, the only colors I saw from Essie were really light beiges and pinks and whites, and it was just really boring to me. Um, now that I'm getting to see more of their color range, it's a lot more exciting. And I feel like their formulas have changed as well because Essie, I always used to think was too runny, you know, not very opaque. I didn't like it, but um, a lot of the Essie nail polishes that I have right now are actually really good. So Essie is number two and China Glaze is number three just because of the whole crackling thing that I mentioned. Number four, when do you switch your nail polish? I usually switch about once a week. I try and do it on the weekends because... I have more time on the weekends, um, but I also, I'll change it midweek if I get a, a really big annoying chip in my polish, which is really rare, um, or yeah, if I just feel like it, or if there's a special event and I need to change it midweek because there's something happening on Friday, something like that, but yeah. Number five, what is your favorite color on your nails? I would have to say it's purples. Usually the purples that I favor are on the blue toned sort of purples. It's really rare that I like a red toned purple because I feel like it just gets too much into like the magenta mauvey sort of colors, which I don't really like. I, I feel like on my hands they look really kind of old lady nail polish colors. So I like the really either bright or dark bluish toned purple nail polishes. Uh, darks or brights? I like them both a lot. I love wearing brights in the summer. Uh, I love wearing darks in the winter and the fall season. Sometimes I will wear a bright in the winter just to switch things up because, I mean, if I'm wearing dark colors for six months, <laughs> as the winter is, tends to be where I live, it just kind of gets boring. So once in a while, I'll switch it up and wear something bright. Uh, what are you wearing on your nails right now? Excellent. Number seven. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing on my nails. I don't know if it'll focus. And the base color is Catch Me In Your Net. This is by OPI. This was part of their Summer Flutter collection from... 2010, I want to say. But maybe it was 2011. I don't remember exactly. So I've got that one. And then on top, I am wearing Color Club's Take the Stage, which is this gold glitter with like little chunks of, where am I? Like chunks like that in there, which didn't really show up too much, but I've got one chunk on my thumb. Right there. Anyway, so that is what is on my nails right now. Oh, and I actually, uh, kind of answers question number eight, which is also what's on my nails, matte nails in or out. I love, love matte nails. They're 
so high maintenance, but I love the way they look. And actually that's one of the reasons why my nails look the way they do, because instead of using a high shine top coat, I used Essie's Matte About You, which is, in my opinion, the best matte top coat you can find. It makes your nails super non-shiny, as you can tell. There's just a little, I've been wearing this manicure for a few days, so the matte top coat tends to absorb oils and lotions and things like that, so it's gonna lose its matte texture. But Matte About You by, from, by Essie, I think is by far the best. I have tried a couple others. What were the other ones that I tried? I tried the one by Color Club, which was meh. It was fine. It kind of turned it more into like a plastic sort of texture, not really a matte texture. But yeah, the Essie one will make the color of your nails kind of look like wall paint. It's awesome. So I love the matte nail polish trend. I know the trend has kind of fallen out of favor right now, but I don't care. I still love it. Um, question number nine. French manicure? Yes or no? I love French manicures. I think they're a great classic. I like just a really plain one with a, you know no color on the base of my nail and just a nice crisp white French tip. Or sometimes I'll switch it up and do like two different colors, like a let's say like a blue on my nail and a, a red French tip, or maybe just a plain clear on my nail with a black French tip. But just the classic white French tip is always great, I think. And number 10, random question. Favorite winter nail polish? Let me just look through my stash and I'll get back to you. Okay, so after looking through my stash, I think there are a couple of grays that I really like, but when it comes to a color that I've had for several years and I've really continued to love, um, my top, uh, my favorite winter nail polish is gonna have to be OPI Ink, obviously by OPI, and it's this nice dark purple, and it's got just a little bit of a blue base to it, and kind of lighter purple shimmers. It's really nice, and then sometimes I'll put a top coat of like very, very, very fine gold. Um, what is the name of the gold that I put on top of it? Heart of Gold. Sometimes I'll put Heart of Gold on top and then I'll add just a little bit of sparkle which makes it really pretty. So this is my nail polish obsession tag. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys want to answer the questions I will put them in the information box below and leave your, either you can leave a video response or just type in your comments below. I would love to hear what your opinions are and I will see you in my next video. I am hoping to have some new tutorials out for you guys soon. I've been really just uninspired. I have one that I have, I've already filmed, but I don't really love the design, so I don't, I've been delaying posting it, and I just don't know if I want to at all. So, um, be patient, please, and I'll have some new videos up for you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, bye.